Okay, today's daily rehab is to follow on from the elbow extension video I did a while back of one of our patients who was dealing with extension loss or trying to get their range back into extension following a fracture and surgery. I've got another girl at the moment who's had a significant elbow fracture, a really nasty one, and had a lot of plates and pins put into that ulna to try and stabilize some KYs. And again, same sort of thing with every surgery, they start losing the extension. They, you know, they might have 15, 10 degrees loss and they've got to try and get it back. Now in the physical clinic, we're gonna loosen that up, of course. But homework-wise, she's also got a bit of flexion range she needs to get back, which will go through an extension range. But the big thing about her one is she's also got tricep weakness. So if those of you who have had tricep weakness and tricep tendinopathy stuff going on, that's going to be a bit of a problem because when you try and straighten your arm, you need your tricep to do it. Now, before what we were doing is working on trying to get the elbow straight and just focusing on that movement, doing bicep work and eccentric training. Today, we're going to complement that by using the same band to help the glide, but also work on some tricep work, and then we're going to work on the flexion. So what you'll need is your trusty old power band, put it around something solid that is not going to move, and then Get your bench set up so when it comes under, your arm is in the same line as that. That is going to go on my forearm. Now it's pretty full on, but what that is doing is the, probably the, one of the best ways you can replicate what I'm doing in the clinic for the client is doing that AP glide of the ulna. So when you're in this position, obviously I'll put a band on a minute, but when you're in this position, I want to set this up first, you've got to have your arm like that. So you're still being able to bend through the elbow, which is the biggest thing. Remember, these people are gonna be stuck about 10, 15 degrees. You have gotta be right down here. So this is sort of the yeah, shoulders flat, not popped off, shoulders flat. And so when you get down here, there's enough tension through here. If that's too loose there, you need to move this bench forward, okay? So you have gotta make sure there's enough tension there. This actually needs to be quite a wide power band so it's comfortable. If you have a thin one, it's gonna bite in too much. Plus you won't get enough drag because it's not strong enough to give you enough you know, sort of tension there and you don't have to tighten up too much, it's gonna hurt. So wide power band, short in that position, so it has got enough tension and not gonna bite in. Now, what you add on is this overhead. Now, it does require a bit of a setup, but you can easily do this at home if you put this over a door or something like that. But in the gym, put that over top, all right? Now this could be a cable machine, it could be a band, I don't really mind. Band's quite easy to use because you can use your own stuff with it. This is gonna be for your tricep work, okay? So I'm actively using the tricep to straighten my elbow, which helps me actually get the function. So I'm using muscles that do the job, but also I'm doing some strengthening work at the same time. So the good thing about this is you're getting strengthening work in, plus you're getting mobility into extension. So hold this here, put this one, it's a bit of a hard setup, but so worth it. Get that into there, there's my tension. Band in here, wind that up a bit, whatever you need. And you're just gonna make this one tight enough, whatever you can handle. There needs to be enough resistance for the strengthening of the tricep to make a difference, but it can't be so hard that you can't get your arm down. So I need to be able to access my full range with that tension on the band, all right? Because this tricep will be weak, the tricep muscle and the tricep tendon post-surgery is gonna be really weak. So there's no point having a super heavy band here if you can't, and limiting you. If you can't get the extension, what's the point? So make sure that band is light enough that when I pull down, I'm using my tricep here, and I'm straightening my arm. The band is helping the glide, and I go as far as I can and really crank that tricep up to get the extension, and then I back off. So think of that band needs to be the exact tension, whether it's the length of it, the thickness of it, how much you wrap it around, how short you make it. So when I get to there, I'm working that muscle, but I can get to my full range. My full range might be, if I've had a surgery, might be 10 degrees off extension, not zero. So if you get to 10 degrees and there's some good load there and you can really feel that tricep working, then that's appropriate. And again, reps and sets, eight to 10, maybe 12, whatever you can tolerate. Don't over fatigue this. Obviously there's a lot of pressure going on there for the sets, you don't be doing this for too long, but nice and slow and controlled. And this, again, like I said, teaches you to use your tricep when you extend. Otherwise, you're just doing mobility work. You're not 
teaching your brain, hey mate, switch on that tricep to straighten my elbow because that's what it's supposed to do. So this is a really nice one to work on and that will help you with your range so then you can start working on other elbow strengthening work like all your bicep and tricep work that you normally do up and down in normal gym environments. So with elbow flexion, it's a little bit different, but you're still using the power band and you're still using it in the same direction. So meaning pulling that way. Now you might be thinking, hang on a minute, when I do flexion, shouldn't be the band be pulling the other way? Well, yes, technically, the ulnar and the humerus, the ulnar and the radius move in a PA direction on the humerus. However, the band work slips off. Now I do find that with elbow surgery, there's so much capsular tightness in there it's actually quite nice to traction the joint when you're under flexion. So you get a stretch of the actual tissues in there while you're using the bicep to try and bend you into flexion. And that movement actually helps you with your flexion just as well. So what you do is you put this band, and you don't need any weights with this because the, to be honest, the band tension around the arm gives you that low weight anyway. Um, and you're after mobility with this one. So put that around your foot, put that around your forearm, all right, so the traction's going that way. So when I'm down in this position here, okay, I've got that band pulling my ulna that way, which opens up and tractions that joint. And then what I can do is just relax that on the ground and then focus on pulling it in. If I don't have the bicep strength in here to pull it myself, and again, with that, you tend to move, use the forearm, which changes it a little bit. If you don't have that bicep strength there because you're a bit weak from surgery, let it go. Use this arm and pull it in. So this band is giving me a traction which just starts stretching out the joint and allows me a little bit more movement, passive movement here, so I can pull in with less pain. You'll find that when if you're doing it just like this and you're stuck and you try and push it, it jams up a bit. If you've got the band here, this is a really nice way of getting rid of some of that sort of jamming ties or impingement ties and getting a bit further into the range and a bit further stretching. So try and work on this arm doing most of the work into there, which gives you that elbow flexion. And eventually you'll probably find you can get all the way up and really load it in there and it feels a lot more comfortable. And again, that's replicating what we do with seat belts in the clinic, where we traction the joint, stretch it all out while we move into flexion to help that person gain the range post-surgically so then they can start working on the strengthening, like the bicep curls, getting the whole thing stronger getting it back to normal. Hope that helps with your elbow fractures. See you next time.